boys and girls, we are back. We are at the Nest Beach, as you can see in the video. Big up to all the new subscribers, smashing it at the minute. Absolute geezers, diamonds, birds and all that. Cheers. All right, I'm just trying myself another shock leader. Down here today with Chris. Obviously, it doesn't always, it's not always sunny in my videos. We're not fair weather fishermen. Uh, quite a bit of rain forecast tonight and we've got a big 30 mile an hour southwesterly wind, which is why we're going local. And we're not chancing going up to Chesil for the hounds. We thought we'd just come to the Nest Beach and give it a go anyway. You know, it's a long way to drive and a lot of fuel to be disappointed when you get there to realise that the weather's too bad and you can't fish. So we're going to keep it local. Maybe we'll go up there in the next few days, I'm not sure. But if we do, we do. You'll see it on the tube, you know how it is. Right. Lovely people. As I just said, we are down the Nest Beach. Prime targets today is a bass, smooth hound, or maybe a nice bullos. Obviously, it's going to be a bit difficult with filming and that. I bought the bivvy today, so you might be in here the whole time. If it's not, I'll give you a tour in a bit. But if not, you'll have to sit in here, stay nice and warm, and in the dry. While we get soaking wet trying to catch the fish. <laughs> right, I'm just going to finish tying this knot. And then, I'll go for the rig and the bait. And then get, let's get fishing, boys and girls. Go on, stay, stay. Why is that slipping? Go on, there we go. Boss, tight as you like. Right, just trim them tag ends. Nice and close. Not too close that they come apart, but I like to get mine as close as I can. Stop to getting caught in the eyes on the way through. Right, Bosch, there we go, there's a shock leader. I'll reel that on in a minute, but just quickly, because it's raining, I need to get my waterproofs on. So, right, rigs today. Got the five foot pulley as always. We have changed, we are starting to change it a little bit. Obviously last week, we had that smooth hand on the pair of size fives. We did miss a few bites as well. So what I've done is, sticking to the clear trace line, the rest of the rig's still the same. Seen my other videos, it's all on there. Go and have a look. I have hook size, I have dropped down to size threes. So we've got a size three there, that's a Sakuma Manta Extra, size three, and then there we have got a Phoenix Circle, size yeah, size three as well. So, a pair of size threes today. We're going to see if that makes a difference. Hopefully, we can hook some of the smaller fish as well because we have been missing a few bites. And uh, let's see if that does the business. Obviously, bait wise, good old wrigglers. I've got the multi packs of sand eels. Um, just because we're making big husk baits, so we can bind them together into like a big, big, thick sausage, belt them out, plenty of scent. You know, it doesn't have to look pretty. And then hopefully, they smash those. And then obviously, we've got the king prawns. I'll just get one out for you. These will be going out whole. Boss, for the naughty little smooth ounce. Right, so I'm going to get to it, put these rigs on, get a bait sent out, and I'll bring it back if we catch a fish, and if I don't, I'll bring it back anyway, in a bit. Right, guys, as you can see, it's raining. We've got the waterproofs on. I'm not even in the water yet. <laughs> Chris has had a first cast. He's always quick to set up, and he's away. And there you go. Result. Oh, here we go. Calm down, boy. You're going back in a minute. Right, and there you have it. Oh, chill. Lovely bar of silver. Too small to keep. But all the same. Look at that, look. Proper little poser. So that's it. One nil to Chris. Rod just rocketed straight off. He thought it was a lot bigger than that, to be fair. But uh, yeah, absolute pristine. So good signs for the fishing. Obviously, first cast. Hopefully, it stays like that all night and we can bring you plenty of fish. Hopefully get a few bites on camera as well. Gert gob on him, look. Gob, gobble, gobble. Right, gonna put it back now, in a bit. Right then guys, stop running for a minute. So I'll give you a quick tour. Obviously, if you look behind me there, you see the steps. That's where you come down from. Obviously we've walked to the right. Rods are out. Got, got pro on both of those at the minute, because hopefully I can get a hound or a doggy dog fish. 
Um, if you walk along a bit further, obviously if you're going to come down here, not just fishing, swimming, anything like that, because it is a lovely beach, obviously there's always a danger, do you know what I mean? Because you've got the cliffs behind you, and obviously they do fall down every now and again. And there's been a fresh new landslide the last couple of days since I've come down. I mean, and it, it ain't small. I'm going to stand next to it just to show you how big. I mean, if you were sunbathing underneath there, you'd be gone. Dead. Brown bread. Do you know what I mean? Is what it is. But obviously, I'm just going to show you just for safety purposes. Right, so. That there. See that there is the landslide. So, what's that? probably about three times the height of me and maybe four or five wide goes right back to there do you know what I mean so it is dangerous if you're underneath there if it was night time and you're fishing you, you that would be it you'd be gone so obviously don't set right up to right up against the cliff if it's really stormy probably not the best idea to come down here really especially when you've got a big sea on as well because you're forced to walk along the rocks so obviously just be careful young kids and things like that other than that guys, enjoy yourselves. Enough of the rules, we're going to break them a little bit because we have come down, it is a little bit moody. I mean the sea's, the sea's nice, there's like a few little waves, a couple of rollers, but look perfect for a bass. Obviously we've already had one. Well, I didn't, Chris did. You know, I'm not, I'm not on here trying to say, oh look, I'll come down here and caught one, it was Chris's fish, fair play to him. He was in the water before me. I was faffing around with the camera, but you know, it's what I like to do. Right, so I'm going back now, gonna get a coffee on. Hopefully I can get you a few more fish in a bit. Right guys. Bosh, right guys. Basically, I haven't had any bites since. I mean, it's only been about half an hour to be fair. Tide's just changed, it's coming in now. We are gonna be fishing it all the way up to high water. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is, about 12 ish, something like that. Obviously, like I said, there you go, there's eight really small sand deals. So I'll bind four together, bind another four, and then halfway down, put another bit of bind. So I'm gonna whack that on now, big sand deal bait. Hopefully for a bullus, or maybe even a big bass, or a small bass, or, or a dogfish. <laughs> Whatever takes it, really. Um, the chance of catching quite a, quite a few different species here, so it'd be good to get a few for the camera. Uh, Chris had that on peeler crab. Um, I've got prawn on my other rod. Hopefully as it gets dark, usually where we are, this end of the country, as it gets goes into dark, into darkness, that's when uh, the hounds seem to turn on, and the bullos, but we're gonna put a fish bait out anyway. There are quite a lot of crabs. We're coming back. We reeled in twice now with clean hooks. Uh, did miss one bite on the first one, but can't catch them all. Would be nice, but is what it is. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna put this bait on, whack it out, and then uh, hopefully get some fish in a bit. Right then guys, Chris is using um, some lugworm that he dug uh, a couple of days ago. You know, he is the bait man after all. And uh, there's another one, another one for Chris. A little bit smaller, but the bass are here. <laughs> well, I would say we're on the fish, but we're not. Chris is on the fish. He's a little bit camera shy, but there you go. Miniature, miniature absolute beautiful fish there you go a little close up lovely little bar of silver hopefully the stamp gets a little bit bigger but we're not complaining we're catching this size all night still good fun i might even try a little bit of worm now and try and catch up with them <laughs> with them <laughs> with him <laughs> right let's get a rod in and get a bit of worm bait out in a bit there you go Full sardine, pair of size threes. Put it out there, see if we can't get us a fish. The last one, the drop, I think because the slope on the beach, I'm going to give it a bit of a smaller drop. See if I can uh, get it round. I'll have to come round a bit quicker, but I'm pretending like I know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> just have a little cast. See if we can get it to go out a little, little distance. Oh, 
a big bank, so. There you go, there's a lot of right? Out. Out. There we go. There goes the bank. Right guys, we're back. Obviously both rods are out now. I know all the professional casters out there are going to say, oh, you know, you're not casting properly in that, but at the end of the day, it's going out. I am still learning. Um, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Just, just trying. But uh, obviously, if, if someone said my casting was bad and I gave up, then I'll never learn. But I mean, it's getting there. They are going out. They're going a lot further than they used to. They're going straight. Um, obviously, I've got a lot more lessons. I've, I've got four or five more lessons, so I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I haven't caught any fish yet, but hopefully we catch some fish in a bit. And uh, yeah. Obviously, I, either tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to do another bit of casting with uh, Andy Webb from Sea Angling Adventures. So pop over to there, give that a little watch. And uh, hopefully by the end of my lessons and things like that, I'll be in a good, decent cast. I'm sort of getting it at the minute. I'm just trying to pick up the scoop motion to keep this arm straight and then just move this one. At the minute, I'm moving it with my body. I know that's wrong, but it just I just... I haven't got that bit yet, so I am practicing. Once I've got that, I'm sure we'll be sending baits to the horizon. But until then, it is what it is. <laughs> so tune in if you oh, if you if you are interested in learning how to cast, because we have got a few more, a few more episodes to go up on this channel, and I'm sure by the end of it, I'll be speaking them out there. Right, it's just about to get dark, so I'm going to get head torch and that sorted out, and. Uh, Hopefully bring back some fish in the night time. In a bit. Oh, that's right guys. <sighs> managed to well, managed to get myself a fish out. Obviously Chris has had two. Offered me some of his lugworm like a true gentleman, but I said no. Stuck to my guns. Put some <laughs> put some prawns out. We're running low on bait now because the baits are just getting stripped by crabs. Bosh, there you go. Another hound. Oh, oh, oh he's kicking right off. Not as big as the one we had last weekend, but it's still a good fish. I reckon about four, maybe five pound. And there you go. Just like that. Just goes to show, stick to your guns, stay consistent, and you'll be on the fish. Right, we'll get this chap back now. He's been out of the water a little bit. Hopefully, I'm sure he'll go back fast as a bullet train. Woo, on the fish, fish old baby. Right, in a bit. He went back nicely. Um, well, tried to come back to the beach three or four times. But uh, just a quick one, show you the bait. Obviously, you've seen the prawns earlier. I'm actually peeling the whole shell off. Um, I find that it's a lot easier to bind to the hook. Woohoo! Still shaking a little bit. So hopefully, I'm going to peel this one up now, bang it on, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get maybe a bigger one. If not, just another one, do you know what I mean? Because, you know, as rules go, when you're fishing with your friends, Chris is still beat me, 2-1. So let's see if we can't do a comeback and beat him. Right, there you go, literally just taking all this shell off, stripping the old lot, and there you go, bosh. Smack that on the barbecue, ready to eat. Right, let's get this bait wrapped up, see you in a bit. <laughs> I'd love to say this one's mine, but it's not as Chris's. Another little schoolie. So that's number three for him now. <laughs> three one, but he is on the bass and he's been smashing it all night, so they're loving the lugworm. I'm actually, I think this one, you had this one on crab. You had this one on crab, Chris, didn't you? Yeah, you had this one on crab. Obviously, he just changed over to crab because he wanted to get a hound like me. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> but, um,. It's all kicking off now a little bit, so I'm gonna get this one back as quick as possible, just in case one of the rods screams off. In a bit. Right, right guys, unfortunately, all kicked off a bit. Me and Chris got a little bit excited, missed a couple of bites, and uh, we've ended up running out of prawn and crab. We have got lug left, we have got some fish baits left, and some proper manky sardines. So, Without further ado, 
obviously you do get some nice husk down here as well. I mean, a smooth out might take it, depends if it's hungry or not. Probably won't, but you never know. So off with the tail, off, 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 off with your head. Boss, love that tune. Right, there you go, bang. I'm gonna smack that bait on now. God, that's stinking as well. <laughs> so it's quite, the water is a bit dirty today, so the scent is gonna help. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can pull us out of bullas. Um, we haven't had the dogfish. Oh, there you go, Chris's rod's off. <laughs> it's all going a bit manic. Oh, it's turning into an absolute belter of a session. Still there, boy? I'm sure it still will be there. I'm trying to keep an eye on my rods at the same time. Ratchet's the one, so I'll probably hear it go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reel my rod in now because the baits are getting stripped by the crabs as well. So, yeah, whack that sardine bait out and uh, fingers crossed we'll get a bull us. And obviously we haven't been attacked by dogfish all night, which is which is a bonus because sometimes on this beach it can be a pain. And uh, so, yeah, the baits aren't going to waste and we're getting some good fish. Right, I'm going to get this one out in a bit. Bosh, right. As I just said, we have run out of crab and prawn, but Chris has just caught one of the culprits that keeps eating all of our baits. So uh, we are running low on bait. So I've only ever seen it done on YouTube before. I am going to put this hard back on. I just thought I'd quickly film it just in case I get a fish next time. Just to prove that I caught it on a hard back. Probably won't get one, but you never know. There's hounds out there. They're in here smashing these anyway. So fingers crossed we get one. <laughs> and if we do, It'll be a bonus fish in a bit. Boys, right guys, unfortunately, night's come to an end. Um, last baits are out now. I'm gonna soak for about 10, 15 minutes while we uh, pack everything else away. But uh, yeah, all in all, good session. Obviously, bait's been stripped by the crabs, but that's just how it rolls down here. Um, I managed to beat the blank with the hound, which I'm buzzing about. Obviously, Chris has been smashing the bass. Do you know what I mean? He has beat me tonight, do you know what I mean? It's been a long time coming. But uh, but yeah, we've had a really good night. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, show some love. Like I always say, if I don't see you before, I see you after. And if not, I'll see you on a bank in a bit.